steel salute steel brothers and sisters this is Scott from pocketknifesblog.com up for another riveting knife review today we have the uh, Kershaw blur tiger stripe brand new knife from Kershaw and this thing is slick I'm telling you just slick I, I, yeah, I was pushed over the edge on, on knives a number of years ago, probably, oh, I don't know, yeah, four or five years ago, I ended up purchasing a Kershaw leak, which pushed me down the, the uh, tactical style uh, knife, everyday carry pocket clip knife that I couldn't be without. And, since that time, I've never been without a pocket clip knife, um, and this is the uh, the newest uh, knife by Kershaw uh, with the uh, DLC coating on the blade, giving it the uh, the tiger stripe appearance. There, um, very cool in the in the aspect that it um, is not does not have a a finger knob here on the top as does the leak and the clash where you you go like this and the knife is uh shoots into position this knife simply has thumb studs you can see one there i move my finger and then one there and all you do is put your thumb right on the thumb stud right there and you can see that if i can get this lined up and you're in business it's crazy um, also what's different about this is the the locking system it's not really uh, a frame lock or, or a, I mean it's like a partial liner lock you can see right over here the liner is there but it doesn't go all the whole way down the frame and it's not a frame lock um, so that, that's that's kind of unique actually uh, and it locks in place obviously you've got to uh, depress the liner lock to close the blade can onion speed safe design as um, is Kershaw trademark and this thing is razor sharp and I, I really wanted to uh, do some recording here today just to uh, see, have you watched me? See, I've been carrying this knife for probably, oh, I don't know when I get it, a week and a half, 10 days ago. And uh, I don't know if you can see this here. Let's see, we can just lower this down a little bit. Maybe now. Nah, let's not do that. That probably won't work. We'll, uh, we'll go back up here. And I'll just, you know, I've got a priority mailbox here as I, I like to cut. Okay, well, it works. I don't even have to set it down. Um, and we'll just we'll just do a little cutting. See if we can we can pull this baby up. Get a little glue on it. You know, I'm telling you, this is like cutting, like cutting cake with this knife. I'm putting a reasonable amount of pressure on this. Not a crazy amount. Yeah, let's, let's let's cut up some. Let's pretend we're cutting carrots. You know, carrots or green peppers or tomatoes. Let's just slice and dice like we're doing a commercial for a uh, kitchen knife. And I'm just, you can, you know, let's see if I can leave a few of these on here so you can see what I'm up to. Oh, oh, they're going right through. Cutting that down there. Got a little bit more coming on there. You can see. Yeah, it's uh, it's sharp, dude. I'm telling you, this thing is sharp. You cut your hair straight out of the box. You can cut your hair uh, right off your arm, straight out of the box. So we're just gonna, you know, it's it's there it is. You're seeing the demonstration, the knife cutting right here in front of you. See how I review a knife. Cut it. It needs to be sharpened. Just keep on going. There we are. 
You can see what I'm up to there. We can make a nice, we can make some kindling here. But, yeah, this is the chart. Now, I'll tell you one of the, 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 the I get a couple of curve balls with the knife, and, and I'm obviously a huge fan of Kershaw. The, uh, as much as I love the automatic space ride, the, the, the mountain space ride, it, it, it feel like I'm riding the, what's that ride over at Disney there? Space Mountain. When you, when you, when you, when you shoot this rascal out, I mean, it's, you know, it's like a ride on Space Mountain. It's fast, it's furious, it's electric, it's, it's engaging, it's, uh, um, the only thing I don't like about that is, is, is you've got to get your thumb, you've got to get your thumb cocked right there. If you start like this, like you might on most standard thumb studs, it'll work. But it's better to, okay, now it's working. You gotta have a little, a little, a little cock in your thumb. You gotta have a little spring ready to rumble. Um, and that I've found slightly a little bit of a, uh, a curve ball in the, the opening that, that the thumb has to be, obviously as you do it more and more, your thumb begets, be, becomes more naturally prone to be in that position because it knows it's opening the Kershaw blue blurred tiger stripe. So, um, as opposed to the uh, the leak thumb, you're gonna be waiting for me to go ow, aren't you? I'm hoping I don't do it either. But I'm just cutting away here, man. I'm I'm just trying to do a live uh, knife review right here in front of you. Cut, slice. This is a commercial, but wait, there's more. Just kidding. Um, just, uh, I'm trying to show you what it's like to, what I, it was close, man. I think it over toward my finger. Um, when I do a knife review. So, I'm trying to see if I can wear off any of the paint there. The handle is a little... The grip on the handle is, is, you know, here again, if you were out doing, using this knife over and over and over and over like I am right now, the, the grip on the handle, I think, would begin to, to wear, see if you can see that, wear on your, your hands there. I'm not really, let's see if I move it this way and up that way. It's, it's almost like, you know what I thought of when I first saw it? I thought of the, um, the, tear the stairs when you when you're putting in some a new contractor is putting in stairs and he puts on a, a tack strip it's almost like a an abrasive uh, dark sandpaper black type of sandpaper material and I'm not saying that's what this is but it's got a rough it's got a rough feel to it and I don't know that the uh, the picture is right there but it's uh, it's got a little rougher feel uh, it does have the the uh, removable, repositionable pocket clip, which I like, uh, allowing me to carry my knife in my pocket, tip up, as it would be there. I did have a curveball taking this off and repositioning it. Um, I used the Kershaw tool to take off the clip, the screws, and um, man... I had a heck of a time getting it off, or I almost stripped the screw. But uh, you got her done, and we're working in the tip up, tip up position right now. So you can see here, I'm, I, I'm continuing to cut and destroy this uh, uh, second priority mailbox. Here's the first one. So it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to destroy the knife, trying to. Review it. Granted, you know, I, I most people aren't going to do this much cutting in one day. You carry your pocket knife. You you open up your your can of uh, uh, I don't know what are you going to open up your you open up a box. You open up a letter. You cut the cap of your cigar. You know, whatever you you, know, you get to use your knife. You know, maybe cut some rope. Cut some fishing line. You get to use your knife. 
you know, maybe half a dozen times in a day, whatever. Um, but so I, I, I generally will try and, you know, get about a year's worth out of a knife in a couple of weeks if possible just by cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting it as you're seeing here. So we're, we're still cutting. This rascal is still cutting this box. I feel like I'm cutting tomatoes here. No worries. Well, we should see if I could put some nice things in my desk for you guys. Hope you are appreciative of that. Let's see if we can cut some. You up? Can you see? Let's see if it cuts. Nice little streak right there. Nice little racing stripe. That's after I've been cutting some boxes. Let me go back to cutting boxes. Um, this is this is razor sharp right out of the box, ready to rock and roll. The uh, type of steel is is one four C two eight N Sandvik one four C two eight N. Um, made in the USA, item number is 1670BLKTSX. Uh, oh, the, the, the handle is called Track Tech Handle Inserts for extra gripping. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely extra gripping. Dual thumb studs, locking liner, weighs in at 4 ounces. Uh, overall length 7 and 13 sixteenths is what I measured it as open. This is probably really 7 and... Uh, seven eighths but I, I tell you it's 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 a heck of a knife right now i saw it available at cabela's cabelas.com um not a sponsor here they should be uh for 99.95 uh it's a fantastic knife a little bit a little bit a uh, little little beefy for edc possibly Little, little beefy. There's no problem going in and out of the pocket. The, the knife, you know, my hand's diving in. I'm not having any problems going in. Uh, quick out, quick open. That's what I like for accessibility. Uh, final steel salute score would probably be the, and, it, and as a matter of fact, too, as I open this more and more and more, I get a wear spot right there on my, my thumb. I don't know that you can see it. But I'm starting to get a I'm going to get this wear spot on my, I'm going to figure where I am, wear spot on my thumb from flipping the knife open. I don't know if I like that, but it is fast, and maybe I should use the base of my thumb. But a uh, heck of a knife. Final steel salute score, I think, would probably be um, about a 9 point, uh, 9.4, probably, because of the 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 thumb stud here and a little bit of the thickness but other than that and I mean thickness this way not not this way um, other than that it's it's your standard rock and roll get things done uh, Kershaw uh, blur Kershaw leak with what they're famous for what put them on the map for them Ken onion speed safe design with the rocket ship opening sharp blades Still cutting, still going. I got, I got here. I got a nice pile here. See, I don't know if I get credit for showing you my, my pile. I got more over here that's not part of it. But anyhow, uh, that's how I do a review. That's how I review this knife. Nine point four steel salutes. Proper goodbye. Thanks for checking in. Catch you next time.